Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for such a night that you've given unto us. For the word of life that you have given unto us this night. The word about Christ as a high priest. The word of life. The word that is taking us to another power. For surely we've known that we received power through salvation. And what we received makes us powerful. We thank you for you chose to give us what is best. We thank you for you accepted to give your life for our sake. It was a moment like this you've already surrendered your life for our sake. It was in such a moment when you had already decided to pay for everything. And we are here as witnesses to that. And may our testimony be established that you that we witness your alive and you resurrected from the dead you're seated on the right hand of the father whatever process you went through it wasn't for your own but you are walking through it for us because even while you're seated you're seated for our sake when we are con we've concluded like we will also come and sit with you on the right hand on the right hand of the father we thank you for loving us there is no such greater love there is no love that is compared to yours a love of giving your life for our sake. We thank you, Jesus. For you did not give your life because it was not hurting you. However, you went through the, the same pain for our sake that we may live. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you and honor you. We thank you for that reason. That even though there is a sick one, they are healed. Because of even though there is one with a need, their need is, is answered because of that. Your sacrifice. There is nothing that it cannot save. It does not exist. It can become an answer unto every need. Thank you, Lord. And I pray, Jesus, that in this night, as your children are coming to the Holy Communion, as we are having Holy Communion to your Holy Table, let us see substantial changes in our lives. Let us see unique power. Let us see a unique grace. May we see your goodness and your love. We are not having Holy Communion just to remember you. We also have the communion that we may see your goodness in this land of the living. And that your remembrance may be more powerful than we can remember the deceased. 
that we may remember you as the Christ that gives life. That we may remember you as the Christ that resurrected unto us. That we may remember you as Christ who broke your body for us. As we are having the Holy Communion, let us remember. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. May you bless us and do us good. That we may see your goodness as we are in this land of the living. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 To Kubire Omusumba Jesse Mongalo message. Let us applaud Pastor Jesse for the message. Bless the Lord, night has moved far. We do not have even an hour before we finish. We are in our last minutes. Sit a little bit that we may remind you about the words of sharing the body and the blood of Christ. We cannot go through this night. The night in which our Lord was given. In, those that thought that they had consumed him. Yet behind it all there was a secret that he had gone to die for our sake. Amen. We can't conclude such a night without having a, sign, a sign of remembering him. Because one of the main reasons as why we have the Holy Communion is that we may remember our Lord. Amen. Amen. And secondly, we do not just um, come to the Holy Communion only. It is not optional. It is not optional. It is not optional that whether you want, if you want, you can do it. If you don't want, you cannot. Take It is a must. It is a command. Take her. Take her. a command. And if we do not do it, we ourselves bring a blemish upon ourselves. It is like a sign to show that we forgot about our God. Yet it is not of any good to, to forget him. Amen. Amen. So, we remember, but we make this act because he commanded us to do it. Amen. When he was on the last supper, in such a night, the Bible says that he got hold of the bread and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and told him, May you take this and eat because this is my body that has been given because of you. And then he got the wine and gave to them. He gave thanks and gave to them and told them, drink for this is my blood. He did not drain blood out of himself. He gave them what was present like this. Yet it was a demonstration of his body and his blood. So as we are doing this, we honor what is signifying the body and the blood of Christ. Maybe the other thing that we can do, we must do it when we are upright. When we are upright in our Lord when our lives are upright. The Bible does not permit us to receive this body and the blood without making our lives upright. 
It is of no good to us to receive the Holy Communion when we have wrangles, when we have issues in our hearts. If you do it, you're eating judgment. This is a way that each and every person remembers Christ. Amen. Amen. Therefore, we must receive the bread and the blood in honor and respect. Don't look at it as the soda that you used to be. For we believe, like our Lord told us, that once you've thanked God, they become that which you've thanked God for. That is why when we receive and take it, there is healing that comes unto we our lives. lives. We receive deliverance. Amen. 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 So we want to remind you. We are going to go to the Holy for the Holy Communion, but you must be right. Righteous. That they will cook tea and bread. You're very free to eat. But these that we've called the body and the blood of Jesus Christ are different. The Bible speaks in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. That if any man receives this blood and bread when they are not righteous, they die. That is why the Bible says that some of you become weak. Mm. And others have slept because of this. What they call sleep is death. You remember Jesus Christ speaking about Lazarus that he had slept it he had so died. So we don't want you to sleep in a time that you're not ought to. Amen. 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 The Bible says that in the night when he was betrayed, he took the bread and he gave thanks and he broke it. Good Father, we want to thank you. For it was such a night in which you broke the bread when you were going to be betrayed. That you gave thanks. And you said, this is my body. Which is broken for you. As we remember your brokenness. And you are surrendered for us. We thank you for this has become your body. And as it was broken, it became an answer to us. It was a sign to show that it has been divided among us. And whoever tests of it becomes, becomes alive. We thank you for your body. Your body has life. Whoever eats of it, even though they are sick, they become alive. Even though they are going to die, they live. For you speak in your word. That whoever believes me will not die. But nevertheless, even though they are dead, they will live. We thank you, Christ. The Christ of God. For your body that was surrendered for us. And we are living for your sake. Bless us as we are receiving it. And it is becoming your body right now. Whoever receives it, let them see your goodness. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The, Bible, the scriptures say. In the same manner, he took up the wine. In our times, we take soda. And he gave thanks. And he gave to them and told them, drink. For you're drinking my blood. We thank you, O Christ. For you gave your blood. To cleanse the sin of the world. To cleanse away the sins of many. To cleanse away every unrighteousness. To take away people's sin. I, Christo. 
all Christ. We thank you this night for what we are holding right now. It has become your blood that takes away sin that cleanses, that purifies, that heals, and it is becoming the blood of Christ, that whoever receives it, let them remember that Christ died for us, that Christ died for us, and his life, let it be renewed, even though there is any sickness in their body, Christ may your blood heal that sickness, let every person's soul be healed, because of your blood, may you purify each and every one, and give them grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be none of us who will sleep or die. Let there be none of us who will become weak. Let there be none of us who will be sick. But let them be healed. Let them receive power. Let them receive more life and life in abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 This is what we are going to Bible do. The Bible says that we ought to wait for Christo. Thank you. 